Okay, episode 76. Cool. We, um, we talk about a lot of philosophical society related stuff. Agree to disagree. So. We, get, we get pretty hardcore into the marketing yeah. and the framing of uh, research data. Right. So I hope you enjoy. Yes. Merchandise. Yes. Support the podcast by hitting up shop.lmfire.com and pick up some teas on Teespring. And um, if you also want to support it, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and video reply. You also forgot to comment. That's cool I said too. comment? Oh, well, yeah. I think that's more important now. Video repl- commenting? Yeah. Video replying. What's more important? I mean, you know, both, I guess. <laughs> all right, so do both. Do all those. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, photo book is out now. Fourth one. It's going for one dollar. One dollar. Book4.com. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, and we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is episode 76. Mm-hmm. Episode 76. Divisible by 325. Okay. It's really not, though. All right, so this is your weekly roundup where we talk about four things that we thought were cool from the week, and we discuss them as we play video games, hence the term, the name, Socratic Gamers. Yes. Asking the constant why as we destroy the why through video games. Okay. So anyways, first on the docket, Vish, what's up? Uh, Well, the online came out for Red dead Ooh, we've been waiting for this one because yeah. like gta 5 online i know a lot of people like they bought the the gta well i i did that i bought gta 5 and just played the online right uh-huh. like, i didn't i didn't yeah, really oh, care yeah, about of, the story people, mode you know what i mean just yeah, like that, call of duty and like all that stuff yeah that was after um like year or years something. Of yeah being yeah online. like two years something like that yeah. before i bought it but yeah just like this it's like you know so how how is online so same people were waiting for it basically but how's yeah. online oh it's amazing um like it it feels like a real world simulation in the 1800s because it's like it takes so much time to get to places okay you're just riding your horse you're enjoying the scenery kind of thing uh-huh and then like random encounters so like the first time i played it with our group was uh, i was just looking at something as uh, and then a bear i just hear a bear growling Okay. It's coming after me, and my horse hasn't been bonded to me yet. Okay. To the max level, so the horse got scared and just like kicked me off. No way. And then and oh, then, that, that's the, and then I had to run the from my right? yeah yeah, oh, yeah okay 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 yeah like I had to run for my life <laughs> and then and at that time my friend was kind of close by so he, and he used his gun and shot down the bear. That's so crazy. Oh, like, <laughs> all right, so how do you how do you build teams in this? Do you have to like ally yourself some way or do you just like we won't shoot each other we make like an agreement uh i mean uh it's not really a talk i mean there are taunts if that's the way to talk or well, like you do have uh, no no i'm saying like how do you build teams like a posse yeah, yeah use yeah. posse in this one okay uh, so how do you build a posse well whoever friends you already have or oh so you can't shoot these people is it like no friendly fire kind of thing uh, you can turn that on or off, I believe. Okay, okay. So yeah, naturally, if you're friends, then it'll automatically make it so that you guys can't hurt each other. Yeah, yeah. You can whoever's setting up the posse you can set that up. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Wave. So what else do? You, <laughs> so yeah. what else do you like in the game? Uh, of uh, the. It, it's more about like when you have a group, it's more fun. I think if you're alone, you do have to create a posse. Like, right. Just, right. Right. Just helps to get things done a little you, quicker. You spent three hours, you said, playing, but it's like you didn't. Um, I didn't. You didn't. So I think I ended up. Yeah, like I, I think the issue that I heard, heard right now, what people are talking about, I just read it a little bit. Or I mean, I didn't read it. I just read the title. Uh, was the uh, money system? Okay. It, they're think they're saying it's too difficult. It, yeah, to get so much money is is taking a long time. Makes but sense. I, I mean. You can't compare it to the story mode because they're like, oh, in story mode you can earn a lot of money. Right. But it that wasn't that was still the same thing even in GTA Five. Right. It would take. I a don't while. understand yeah, what the what issue. Oh, see, random encounter. Oh, interesting. Just kill me. <laughs> so is it like? Do they just play? Like it's like they all are roaming around in this world. Is it like GTA Five? 
Like it's like it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah, city. Yeah. So like you have the whole world, and then you just yeah. Like so roam you around. yeah you have the whole world uh, to roam around in and do other things. There are like gang attacks, like in GTA. Right. I think they're called the same thing in this one. Okay. Um, but then there's also like the other missions. Uh, there are a little bit of story mode in this. Um, like in the beginning, when you first go online, you're not right into the free roam yet. You got to do a couple missions till you get to the free roam. So oh, that's, that's going to take a. Oh, it's it's more about the lesson. It's just more that. about teaching it, teaching oh, yeah, how saying. to do it, and then once you're done that, like then um, then you're in free roam, so you're fine after cool. that. Um, and then uh, uh, the character creation, I heard was like. I had a difficult time to get it right because a lot of people was like, yo, these faces are ugly. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But you can really go in and really get it to what you want. So like you but, can like you can tilt the nose in a specific direction. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah, of there's there's a much more um, it's a much more robust character creation than uh, GTA Five. Oh, really? Yeah, because GTA Five was GTA Five was more just picking your parents, and then like that an interesting idea of doing it that way, but right. you didn't really have. To the level of uh, like where your how your nose is, how, right, where your right, mouth right. How, type size of your mouth, but you could ears. shift that in this game. You can shift that. You can add freckles. You can add wow. like blemishes, like because you know you get they don't really have any like suntan right, kind of right, stuff, right, so right, your right. skin's all burnt up, oh, like wow. these sort of things. It's fascinating. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. E- right, as I look at this, all right. Quick side note. Uh, as I look at this. The Unabomber, I heard this on Joe Rogan podcast, but the Unabomber, he he was a part of the Harvard LSD experiments, and like he realized that industrial revolution is um, is like it was really bad for our society, our human race. And that's why he started like blowing up people who were in the tech industry. Okay. Okay. And like, but. When I see, remember like that little thing in the the meme that we created because of the. Mm-hmm. Because uh, they saw the city and they're like, oh, it's so ugly. Yeah. So it's kind of like, did he kind of just foresee something? Like, it, it's like he went to the Nietzsche nihilism, right? But he okay. never went back to the acceptance of like, oh, this is just what we do as a species. Yeah. He was so like plagued by the idea of us being viruses. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and he couldn't get out of it. But to realize that, yeah, you're just a virus, bro. Chill. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, that would have helped him accept his situation. Right. You know, just like because I'm watching this and I'm like, okay, we're in a world with no city, which is like complete contrast to GTA Five, where it was like huge city. Yeah. And like this guy didn't like the city when they saw it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like it's like about the same thing as the Unabomber. Right? <laughs> That's probably was it, was it around the, what kind of time area was that? The Unabomber, like yeah. early 2000s. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lying. But yes, yeah, sorry. I wonder what that would be too. So anyways, it's like you you were saying. Yeah, yeah, so there's like other online things, there's like general things like the But I would never want to go back to this world, is what I'm saying. Is it's like Oh, this time? You mean? Yeah, no. Like you don't no. have you don't have Novocaine. Uh not Novocaine. Is it Novocaine for your mouth? Uh, like you have no numbing agent for when you're pulling teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they're just gonna be like sit there, hold it. Or like, oh, yeah, it'll yeah. just rot out of your mouth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. I appreciate technology. Right. Yeah, so anyway, so what else do you like? Um uh you really gotta take care of your horse here too. Makes sense, makes sense. So that's like the same as the story. Um uh and then so you have other online things, just you know, normal um missions or like uh like you know, the team death match kind of stuff. Right. Or, right. or like and it's just started, basically. <laughs> right? Okay. Like GTA when when we ended up playing it. It's already been a couple of years, and now they've, they've expanded right, hugely, right? right? right, right. So like even the, even till the end, a couple months ago is when they released like the whole on GTA was like the owning um, a club and stuff yeah, like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And managing everything, and it could be run automatically, kind of thing. You don't have to go to do uh-huh. the your other uh, things that you own in the in the in the online world. So this is just starting, uh, basically still in beta because they're uh, if so like they did it like incremental. Um, release uh, yeah so anyone who bought the ultimate edition started off on the first day on Monday cool and then and then whoever played on the whatever these specific days that they had and now on Friday was everybody 
Nice. Yeah. Hey, have you noticed any like bugs or lagging? Uh, yes, there oh, okay. has been a, quite a few. Oh, really? But it's in beta, oh, so okay. it's understandable. They call yeah. it beta anyway, so yeah. So it's, like it's, the caveats there. Yeah. Is not perfect. Of course, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. That's cool. Yeah. But so is it is it a must play? Yes. Cool. I think so. Uh, if you I, like, f- I find this. It's more like a simulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, want to sure. use that word, right? I, I find this more entertaining than um, the story mode. Just like GTA Five, like I find yeah. this the online more entertaining than the story mode. But quick side note again, you speaking of simulation, we were talking about last night. Like, uh, um, Ready Player One is so real because, mm-hmm. like, the way, the way, um, yeah. I'm gonna say you're the the way the way you guys like your posse online you guys went from gta 5 to this like you were all agreed that we're gonna buy this game yeah you know what i mean so it's like yeah. it's like just like ready player one the movie where it's like okay we'll just jump into a new game you're just changing the load disc yeah but you are still the same person behind it mm-hmm. you have like online friends you know what i mean it's like online yeah. world is yeah. crazy it's like okay let's, let's all just play some shooter today you know it's like <laughs> oh we'll all meet in the shooter chat room right you know? if you haven't watched it you should definitely watch ready player one as a movie Oh yeah, it's, it's really good. So good, like yeah. that is the future. And if you know old, I think games, I watched it like three or four times. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it was so good. I kind of want to watch it again now. It was so good. Yeah, that was like the best movie I've ever it, seen. I can it's see my number one. Beat it. Matrix I can see it me. getting there. I can see it getting there. And I wonder if it would be Rockstar if it does it. A hundred percent. I believe in Rockstar. Good job, guys. Sponsor us. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. It, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess okay. so. I right, go into the second topic. Because my two topics are merged together. Like, they'll lead off of your next topic. Oh, so you're asking me? Yeah, you go. You go first for your next one. Oh, okay. So the second topic from Vish is... Was the this new polling came out about climate change. Okay, yeah. And the origin of this is... Get a uh, little political here. Yeah, yeah let, let, oh, we'll go to the origin. I read an article uh, that said... Well, I wouldn't say I read the article. So <laughs> the article basically okay. was about... Uh, how people, how scientists are going to shoot something into the atmosphere to dim the sun. Okay. okay? That was the study. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the article I read was that nobody actually read the article, uh-huh. the actual study, yeah. because people are going all hype. They're like, oh, the scientists are just going to shoot something, dim the sun. And then the scientists had to come out with another article saying, like, no, that's not actually what we meant. You guys just didn't read the article. Okay. So that's what that article was about. But then, ironically, I only read the tagline of this article, uh-huh. so I am in that same boat. It's like a compounding effect. I think a lot you know of mean? people are on that uh, boat. So I'm like, oh, yeah. like scientists say that people didn't read the article. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, people don't have time to read. Yeah, you like but that, that's why I brought it forward to you. I was like, maybe you should check this out because like you'll invest time in reading it. It's just not something I'm interested <laughs> in. Like I'll just get the sum, yeah. summary notes. Right. It's sort of like how I keep reading books, and it's like you're mm-hmm. like. Not you, but, like, uh-huh. people are like, how can you read so many books? It's like, yeah, because I'm interested in it. But then when I come to you with it, I'm just giving yeah. you a summary of the book. Like, okay. we, can't, we can't know everything. That's why yeah. collectives work, right? I yeah. come to you for tech advice, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But anyways, so go ahead. Um, oh, yeah, so it was uh, uh, what they title it as. Um, it's an age and political ideology are the two primary indicators for the the poll that was in Canadian. Oh, it was a Canadian poll? Yeah. See, I didn't even know of that. Canadian opinion on the causes of climate change and whether climate change is real. Okay. According, yeah, so according to that poll. That was the poll that they were doing. Okay, okay. So they, basically, they're polling, um, uh, so, they like, different, so in the political sense, it's conservative, we have three main parties, which is the Conservative Party, Liberal Party, and the NDP. Okay. <coughs> and so the Conservative Party, uh, in their belief in uh, global temperatures rising. Okay. Uh, see, this, this global temperatures rising. But see, there's a difference doesn't between mean, temperature and climate. Yeah. 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 But these are, uh, they're relating, this, I, qu- actually, th- this question is related because it, it connects to, like, recently what happened with, uh, the UN that said, like, in some odd by 2030 will right. be under one whatever the percentage I, it, of uh, uh, temperature rise is going to be at so it, that's uh, why th- this is coming off of that it's it's fall. funny it's funny because like I was, I was talking to Sid about this Sid if you're listening shout out to you what up uh, so 
it's funny because like I was like telling him like oh yeah like this climate change thing and he's like the climate changes every day I'm like no you're thinking about temperature there's just weather thing. weather changes every day. We- weather yeah the temperature same thing weather temperature no yeah sure okay yeah so yeah. so you're thinking temperature but there's a difference between temperature and climate Tem- climate's like temperature over an extended period of time like yes right yeah it's a- like an aggregated so thing. when people are like oh climate change is real we can see it outside it's like no those that's just fluctuations in temperature but climate yeah, is more. Yeah, weather. It, that what they say. Yeah, they normally say like weather is different than climate. Yeah, yeah. All right, so go ahead. So, so like that. That already. It's like if you don't understand that distinction. Yeah. I had to learn this though. Like I would have <laughs> never guessed that. Like I'm like, oh yeah, right. climate change is real. Look at outside. But it's like, no, no, that's just temperature mm. but, or weather. But so, so like if if you don't even understand that part of it, it's like so who's doing the polls? Uh, you gonna say it's like right. there's so much bias around that kind of stuff. Yeah. That, so like, uh-huh. th- these polls didn't go specific into, like they went into just your opinion. It's an opinion. Okay. So opinion. It's, it's is, not. Uh, they're it's biased. Every uh, opinion's biased. No, no, no. It's yes, of course. But what they want to see is, um, well, what do the people think? Okay. And then how does that cause how you vote, basically, right? Okay. So there's a political agenda. Um, well, they're not doing a political agenda. They're just saying, like, these polls can be used. So, like, a liberal party who's uh-huh. got... So, in the poll, basically, conservatives, the amount of percentage is about 71%. Okay. Believe in... Well, th- this specific one was global temperatures rising. Okay. W- w- based, based off this UN thing. Okay. And then... Um, the So, the liberal one is 95%. Okay. Uh, and then... Makes sense. Liberals. Uh, and then NDP voters were um, 96%. Oh, wow. 95. So NDPs are higher than liberals? <laughs> one by 1%. Yeah. Ultra progressives. Yes. Um, and then they go into age ranges, right? So um, actually, let me go specific. Before that, uh, so 30% of Canadians believe uh, climate change is either the result of natural causes or is an unproven theory. Wow. So that's okay. you're putting in two categories into one oh, thing. Oh, I see. I so see. that's not really giving you the right, 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 right. That's how you skew the votes. All right. So somebody who is all right. Well, so, they're not skewing the vote. They're giving you the exact information what they asked. So you no, have no, to really look into no, what the right, right, poll is no, no, saying. No, no, no. Yeah. Skewing the votes is a miss. So like, if I need so um, well, people who don't understand it. That's no, no. Yeah. But, but all right. So so I took a I took a marketing research course at gotcha. university. You had to take one. Yep. So. In that, it's like what I realized. I never really like explicitly yeah, 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 said yeah, this, yeah. but like I'm like, oh, this is all you're doing. Mm-hmm. So if you need something done, if you need to prove something, yeah, right, to be in favor, like it's like, okay, I need this amount of money, right? But the only way I'll get that amount of money is if I, if I can prove to you that I need the money. Yeah. So through polling, I'm going to show that you know people believe in it, blah blah blah, right? Mm-hmm. So if I just do exactly what it said there, if I lump the two together, then I can like increase the number than if I separate it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said skewing the votes. No, 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 no. Right? It's like, yeah. all right, how am I just going to present the information to force you yeah, yeah, to yeah. give me the number I want? Yeah. I remember I was in a PR class and like... Uh, I'm going to leave this to the end. Like how many people were... How many people took that poll? Okay. I'll okay, leave okay, that okay. up to the okay. end. <laughs> so so I... I um, they, they invited this guest speaker in and like I just I find it like <laughs> Tara said something to me like and I was like that's very true yeah she's like you're you're like you're naturally a shit disturber okay <laughs> so like that that kind of rubs people the wrong way sometimes and I was like looking back on history I'm like yeah that's true actually I yep you know me quite well so this PR class this person came in mm. I you know what it is I told my dad this I just don't like to be peed on and then be told it's raining <laughs> Like, if you're going to pee on me, just be like, hey, I'm going to pee on you. Great and I'll be, like, I'll be like, you know what? I'll take the piss. But if you're going to pee on me and be like, no, it's good for you. Okay. I'm like, all right, man, don't lie to me. Just Are you like, R. Kelly? Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, so anyways, so just you can pee on me all you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tell me it's piss. Okay. So, <laughs> so the PR <laughs> yeah. class, they invited this person in who did this, like, study yeah. on, like, texting and driving leads to – um bad like more crashes okay yeah, yeah okay so i'm not saying that that's not true i definitely believe that if you text and drive you're most likely going to have more crashes 
Uh-huh. It's logical sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when she explained the test, she's like, so I was like, well, well how did you perform the study? She's like, oh, study show. I'm like, all right, who made the study? She's like, we made the study. I'm like, all right, there's already bias because you guys made the study, so you're trying to prove a point. So I was like, what did you study? And then I always do it politely, though. I know I don't do it this mean. But so, so I'm like, so what did, how did you conduct the study? She's yeah, like, that's, that's we, the main thing. Exactly. Right. So she's like, we, we got this person to drive uh, by, by – um, I think they put like a blinder on him. Like he wasn't even texting. And then they made stuff pop out at him at random times and, and measured his reaction time to stop. And I was like, but that's not the same instance. No, they're not. That's just telling, that's just only specifically about distracting drivers. That doesn't that's, necessarily. And that's what I'm saying. So you're only really just showing a thing and then you're making the evidence. If you really wanted to conduct a real study, actually have them texting and like measure how many times like this problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't exactly. Or, or yeah, but it's more like spot, yeah, it should be more like the ones who get into accidents, and you see like how what was the cause of the accident or how did yeah they, for sure. So that yeah. that's something like, like that. It's like like actually within the scope of yeah. the thing you're trying to prove. Right. But if you take a, a tangential experiment and you try and overlay the results onto a specific event, then you're just that's bias. Right, right, because it's like they're not. It's not apples to apples. Mm-hmm. You're doing apples to oranges, and you're saying the result from the orange is the same as the apple. But right. if you want apples to apples, measure people who are actually texting. Yeah, you know. So that's why I don't believe in studies, like like that market studies. You I believe in scientist at, studies uh, because scientist uh, studies they have to go through a panel. But even though even that is still biased, because I've I've heard things about like scientific studies being biased. You like, have to like know it's, stuff. but it's like you have to look into how that study was done. Exactly. Be- yeah, because yeah. so it's not them necessarily that's writing about these, the articles that that use these, um, uh, like uh, the clickbait titles, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. The, uh, so it's it's more like they don't understand the study and they make it like they think this is what it meant. You know, that's like, what I'm saying. All so right. that's the problem. All right, let, let, let me let me all right, jump back to this. So when I was <laughs> when I was in um, marketing school, so I realized there's like a little hack. So all I have to do is just come up with a logical argument and then Google that argument and find an article that supported my claim. Mm-hmm. So I just started doing that. And people like my professors were like, shout out to all of you. Sorry. Now you know the trick. But now th- then they would be like, oh, well researched. Good job. But it's like, no, I just I came up with an idea and then I just had to make the study suit my idea. Yeah. yeah. And but that's what you guys do all the time. So mm-hmm. it's like, but if I'm if I'm hacking the system. I'm cheating. You guys are yeah, cheating that's, too. That's if, exactly. You have to be an independent source. It doesn't. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have to take a third party thing that had yeah. nothing to do with you and then overlay those statistics. Yeah. On. That's why you got to look at who did the study. It's like arms length. How did length. the study this is done? Like, there's so many things into this. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. So, so what is the result? So, uh, uh, what is this here? Uh, n- what number? What is this saying here? Surprise, so, surprise. Fish reading the article right now. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So, okay, so I just read that thirty percent of Canadians believe in climate change. In not okay, so yeah, it's unpro like natural causes or un- unproven okay. theory. So it's uh, it jumps to that number jumps to fifty six. Oh, fifty six percent are are past conservative voters who believe this. Okay, and then it's sixteen and twelve percent liberal and NDP. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, that within the group of past whatever conservative liberal NDP voters, uh-huh. these amount of percentages think that it's um, it had already it's it's a result of natural causes, and it's like it's still unproven theory. You're doing Wait, two things what? into one. It's the one question that asking two things. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So when it, overall it's thirty percent. Okay. But. Overall, thirty percent what? 30% Canadians believe, yeah, that climate change is real. No, 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 no. This one is an unproven. Uh, it's 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 either the result of natural causes or unproven. Okay, okay, or yeah, unproven I understand, understand. Okay, so basically, what you're saying, because I'm like trying to sum summarize it to make yeah. it easily digestible. Basically, what you're saying is that seventy percent believe climate change is real. The thirty percent don't, right? Right. And the thirty, the so In, who, out of who, that thirty percent, so who, who makes up the thirty yeah, yeah, percent? Yeah. Are people that already don't? The majority of that thirty percent are the people that already don't believe in climate change. That's what you're saying. 
uh, in the specific question. The specific question. Okay. So they've already, so the 30% that are against climate change already have it in their minds that it wasn't real. Uh, that it's not, it's by, it's natural. Natural. It's, it's asking two things though. It's kind of like, it's not really giving in proper, like it's. I think I'm, think I'm confusing myself. Okay. All right. It's saying, okay, the percentage they're basing this off of the question that's asking is, uh, is it the result? Either it's the result of natural causes, okay, or it's an unproven theory. Okay, you're adding two things that oh, no, no, are yeah, not supposed yeah, yeah, to be course. together yeah, 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 in course. this percentage. Yeah, 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 of I don't course, like. Of so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so no, because it's you still not giving you the things. exact yeah, yeah, answer. No, no, of course, of course, because right? those are unrelated. Exactly. Because unproven theory yeah. and natural disaster, uh, natural cause, are totally not, different. Not dependent on each other. Like they're yeah. completely separate things. Yeah. So why are you lumping them together? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying to skew the numbers in a way that makes it more accommodating to you. No, no, that the question is wrong, I think. No, no, no. I'm saying as the marketer who, who invented that, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were skewing the well, study. Uh, they knew, I'm sure somebody was like, well, hey, I don't man, know who these owns these studies, but things. I know who who did the study, I know who did. I don't who, know who much about study? those people. Uh, much about the- Give us some shade, who, who, uh, who did the study. Uh, the Angus Reed Forum. All right, so if you need facts that should be skewed. So they're saying here, manner. I went to their website. So they said the Angus Reid Forum is Canada's most well known and respected online public opinion uh, community. Wow. And they couldn't differentiate between the science. And so members answer questions and complete surveys on top. Yeah. yeah. Are they backed by liberal money or conservative money? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But they have both in their forum. I can join the forum. Yeah. Okay. So. All and there's incentive to do these uh, questionnaires. Yeah, so if I you're saw. all right, so if there's incentive, if I'm a poor person who needs the money, I will easily do these questions. And be like, I don't, get, I don't care. Just give me the money at the end. So I don't believe in polling. I don't think people. I think it depends on how the polling is done. That's true, but I feel like let me go to their website here. Yeah. I feel like human beings can't objectively observe themselves. So it's here. Earn rewards. Answer surveys. Collect and redeem points. We offer prepaid credit cards, gift cards, and prizes. <laughs> See, that's ridiculous. Such a huge incentive to do it. So, of course, people who want to hack the system are going to end up doing it. Uh, so, what's yes. your intelligence level of answering it? Do you think a multimillionaire? No, is no, no they're not that? answering. They're not asking intelligent questions. They're just asking your opinion. No, I know, I know. But who's right. drawn to answering that poll? Yeah, who like is it the ever... lower class, middle class, upper class? So that is that's a good question. That's what I'm saying. So that like, needs to be done in marketing. You <laughs> that's have a poll to that segment, needs to be done. <laughs> exactly, you have to segment your audience accordingly. Right. You have to right. know who it is you're targeting, okay. and it's like all right. So that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's so biased. That's why I don't believe in polls. It's like it depends on who's done the poll and how much you know about these people. Exactly. I don't know anything and, about this. And and they could be respectable. As they say they are, right, I don't know. Right, and like lower class tendency is that they're less educated than the upper class. Not negatively, I'm just saying you don't have yeah, the same but resources. Not, you I can't understand pay for that. tutors. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, so even well, the ones basically who answer what this, is, what's their level of knowledge okay. on the subject matter? Right, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So based on that, like how are people voting based on their just opinion? That's what they want to see. Exactly, mindless. On past? It's mindlessness. <laughs> It, all right, which is perfect. Are you done with that? Because I this is a great segue into my topic. Uh, I just well, I, I want to tell you how many people right. were in that. Oh, yeah, that's what I was asking. So not only not everyone in that read forum would be voting necessarily, right? Okay. They don't have to. Okay. So how many people you think was in this? Fourteen. No. no. Oh. That's another way to bias it because you don't say how many people did it. You're just like, oh, here's the percentage, but it's like, yeah, twelve people answered it, and they were all my <laughs> friends. Come on, bro. Yeah. So that so that's the wrong it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's uh. It's like it's so that, that's that's what I mean. Don't pee on me. And tell me it's raining, bro. Just tell me, you know, this is piss. Right. It's fine. I I don't have it on here, but I think it was uh, it was 1,500 people. That's such a in, small... In 1,500 people out inside their own, in that forum, and in, how in many, their people. And how many people members, are in Canada? Their members. And how many people are in Canada? 30 million. Is yeah, right? all right. So you got 1,500 people out of 30 million people to answer this. In Yes, yeah. That's why you have I... to read where this poll is coming from, right? There are polls like they could so do. Ridiculous. There are polls... Uh, that they do that they do get it right uh-huh. uh, but how they're doing the poll exactly. they have to understand the demographic and wh- how which segments they're who who they're asking the questions to like right. so for instance 
they got the I believe they got the midterm elections in the U.S. correct okay. in the polls yeah. in the in the early poll whatever okay, that was okay, right. Yeah. So because they had changed their way of asking these questions uh, or how they viewed it because they were totally wrong in the 2016 presidential election 100%. because they did not think about populism idea right at all exactly exactly so again pee on me all you want <laughs> it's fine just tell me it's piss okay. don't be like this is some amazing rain right now okay. a warm rain mm-hmm. just you know what i mean like all right <laughs> it's, it's insulting it's insulting for me well yeah that's what you had to rate it and you, then you ju- you judge how this 1500 people out of 30 million people but that's how it's and done, though. Cr- that's, but that's it's, piss. <laughs> no, it's that's not. That's piss. Depends on how it's done and who is doing this. That's what I'm saying. Because you can still, I don't okay. know how many people they voted for the midterm ones, but I'm pretty sure they didn't vote, they didn't poll 300 million people. But they got it right. It's piss. That's what I'm saying. You're they got it right, me. though. You're peeing on me, though. <laughs> just saying, you're peeing on me. I'm just saying. They're, admit it's piss. You have to look at how it's done. All right. Yeah, you have to look at how it's done. <laughs> that's that, but that's what I mean. It's like, no, it's piss. So you're looking at how it's done. Like, it's not right. rain. So it's when, piss. exactly. So when, the only issue I have is, there's nothing wrong with doing these polls because you're actually, they're telling you exactly how said. they're asking these questions. You can tell me how you're peeing on me as long as you tell me you're peeing on exactly. me. Exactly. But when they use this information the wrong way. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem. That's telling that's me it's rain. That's my problem. That's telling me it's rain. That's what I'm saying. Even though it's piss. It's, so this is not a political person saying this. This is just their individual forum who's doing this yeah so it doesn't mean it represents the whole world 100%. It, de- it this only represents their people in that forum that's but it then who is the marketer who's using the data to skew a pop, a, like an agenda i would say that's I, what I, I'm saying. I, exactly so that's why yeah exactly who did the study it was ridiculous i know i know that that's, anyway we're i think we're agreeing on many things here yeah i'm just saying that there are good polls too that's all i'm trying to say <laughs> i guess you agree with that so. i do i do all right all i'm saying Tell me it's piss. <laughs> you know? I'm that's not going to do that, but that's fine. No, no, no. I, I like them. I mean, I, yes. I, some, I, some I, people, who's who's reporting some, on this? Some should people be... don't want to be told right. it's piss. Some right. people want to be like, "Oh, it's raining. It's so nice outside. It's raining." I mean, I think you, yeah. If you just read the uh, title, whichever side of the fence you want to be on, if you, you read the title, yeah, if you saying. read the title, you're getting the wrong information. Which I read the title. You got to read Sorry. the article. All right. So or the study. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, moving right. on to our next topic about <laughs> people being asleep. Uh, so, um, yeah. separatists, no, either separate or symbiotic beings. Yeah. Okay. We like to idealize and glamorize ourselves for being separate entities, mm-hmm. but we don't realize that we're symbiotic beings. And it goes Meaning? beyond. Okay. So, it goes beyond. Um, it goes beyond being. Um, it, all right, so if I do something, it's going to affect you, right? If you do something, it's going to affect me. Yeah. That's symbiosis. Okay. We're working together in one mm-hmm. kind of thing. But we think in terms of individualism, which is like, if I do something, it won't affect you. That's not true. Okay. Right? It's like the butterfly effect. If you, not butterfly effect, it's like that if the butterfly is flapping its wings, then somewhere in the world there will be a tornado. That's not real, but you understand the analogy. Yeah. Right? Um, so what I'm saying is like we extrapolate that even further. So psychedelic plants right yeah the most amazing thing i heard was that um these psychedelics are actually produced by the plant to force us to propagate the plant because we want to continue the psychedelic feeling or even not even psychedelic feeling like to if it numbs our pain yeah like like um like, all right, so if Advil, ibuprofen, wherever that comes from, a willow tree or mm-hmm. something, if that numbs our pain, we're going to plant more more willow trees. Okay. Right? Yeah. And that's how humans are. We think, oh, haha, I'm being clever. I'm going to create more pot plants because pot makes me, like, high. Yeah. Right? But the plant is going, haha, I'm forcing you to spread me by making you high. Okay. So so it's like who who's turning the wheel, chicken or egg, right? Yeah. It's just like bumblebees. <laughs> bumblebees uh-huh. go from flower to flower collecting the honey. Okay. But they don't realize they're pollinating and spreading the flowers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's symbiosis. Okay. That's the human race. That's the truth behind the human race. That's mm-hmm. what we're literally doing. Yeah. 
but we don't see it because we think of ourselves as individual, like individualistic or above other things. Okay. We believe that we're like special. Yeah. Right? Especially like religions will tell you like you're very special. God made this for you, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. But it's like if you actually look at the way the organism, if you look at the human being as like an organism or like an anthropologist, yep. you know, you're like looking at it outside, you can actually see the tendencies, mm-hmm. right? That's why I said you can't objectively observe yourself. You need a third person who's looking on the outside in yeah, yeah. to like be like, oh, this, uh, Stylebender is facing Anderson Silva. And he said this amazing thing, like, because people are like, oh, how are you going to fight Anderson Silva? He's like, this man doesn't know that I've idealized him for such a long time. I've been studying him from the outside in, in so I know him better than he knows himself. I can tell when he's about to strike. <laughs> but it's true, though, because it's like no, 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 yeah, you're yeah. not – because for me, I think I'm running off of, like, intuition, awareness, but you don't realize that we're governed by patterns, yeah. determinism, right? So being a third-party observer, you're able to observe the pattern because the only time I can observe the pattern is if I contemplate on myself if I observe it myself. But when you're in action, you don't have enough time to contemplate your own pattern, mm-hmm. right? And there are things you're gonna be missing because you're you're like first person viewing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I feel like that's like the human race. Like they're, we're an organism that doesn't realize it's an organism playing its part in a symbiotic system, just like the worker bee, okay. the bumblebee that's spreading the pollen. Right. The, the bumblebee's thinking, ha, I'm getting honey, the plants thinking, haha, I'm getting you spread me. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And that's, yeah, mind blow. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like but I think if we take. I think we agree with that. Yeah, I but agree with that. 100%. But I think it's like if we just take time to appreciate the system, we'd feel less bad about like our lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, what does it even mean to die? Right? The bumblebee is like, oh, I'm going to die. Right? My, my bumble kids and like whatever, whatever. You know, my wife and family. But it's like, yeah, but if you look at it aggregately, you were just a part of a system. Mm-hmm. And it's very hard for people to grasp that. And I feel like that's why people have these crazy revelations when they're like on psychedelics. It's like, oh my God, this is what we are. But it's like, if you just contemplate it enough, yeah. this wouldn't surprise you. Right. You know? Yeah. It's sort of like whenever I come home and I'm like, oh my God, mind blow. And you're like, I've already contemplated this. <laughs> like, it's not a mind blow. And yeah. I'm like, true, but I haven't. Yeah, right. So no, like, I know, I know. It's yeah. a mind yeah. blow to me. Yeah. 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 We're like such a, an organism species, we don't even know it. Of course. And who's in control? We think we're in control, yeah, but really the plant... Relating to what we talked last week, right? Yeah, exactly. Or, even, kind of, or was it last week? Yeah, anyways. Uh, even, even like gut bacteria. Uh-huh. The gut bacteria is what creates your hunger. So if you eat a lot of sugar, the gut bacteria is going to crave sugar, so you'll want to eat more sugar. Yeah. But you can actually change your gut bacteria mm. to crave like you know, avocados. Yeah. But like that takes effort and work. Mm-hmm. So see, if you run on autopilot, you won't notice these things. But if you take the time to like contemplate these things, you could see that you're, who's really in control. Yeah. But even that's an illusion because I believe in determin, you believe in determinism too. So it's yeah. like, we're really just, I believe that's what the ancient yogis would say when like, we're just watching a movie play out. Right. Like it's just, you. You don't real. The actor has been confused by his role. He doesn't realize he's just an actor. Yeah. Playing in this movie that's already been recorded. Mm. You know. So. Yeah. And then that brings me to the next topic, yes. which is superficial illusions. Okay. Uh, so. We are actors in a play. It's like it's not real. Like. Mm-hmm. We 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 create. We create these superficial characters that we interact with on a day. So this guy, I was filling up gas, and then I go, I'm going to fill my gas, and then the guy goes, oh, I haven't seen these gases, these, these prices so low in so long. And I go, yeah, it's crazy, right? And I keep on going out with my day. <laughs> but it's like, but that's the superficial character I had to create in that moment. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why it's an illusion. As I was driving off, I was like, wow, that was such a fake interaction. Right. You know, we create these illus- illusory, illusory characters that are like not real, in order to satisfy a human cooperative. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, like, this but is... it's just like, it's just like the worker bee high vamp thing that we were just talking about. It's yep. like, it's not real. It's like, no, you, sir, yeah, certain interactions, the, yeah, they don't, they aren't real. It's but just the majority, keep, the majority keep, keep is a the superficial. Appease, keep the, right. Like, whatever. Things are just rolling along. We're just rolling along. Yeah. You know? And it's like, this is, it's like, 
that's why I don't believe in friends or acquaintances. Mm. Like, or as I said, like, all right, no, like, not to go, like, too emotional or whatever, but I don't actually consider you and, like, certain people, like, friends. Because I've known... <laughs> no, because I've known you guys for so long. I consider you more, like, brothers, like, family, because I can really... Like, to your family, you don't really, like... You don't... Um, you don't hide it. Because right. they've known you for so long, it's like, yeah, yeah. all right, I'm going to be with you forever... Mm. I'm just gonna be annoying, or I'm gonna be this, right? I'm just gonna be my true self. Yeah, I'm yeah. not putting on a facade when I'm around you, because mm. I'm like, I know you're gonna be there, so it's like I'm just like I've dropped the facade because it's been long enough, yeah. right? And like, but if you look at the friends and acquaintances, you keep the facade all the time. Yeah. Like people are so afraid to let other people know who they really are, mm-hmm. and yet everyone's like, oh, nobody understands me. No, duh, because you're not showing who you really are. <laughs> yeah. Because we're living in a superficial society right. where we need to act as if we're in a cooperative. Oh yeah, I think the same way as you do. Blah blah blah. blah. But then the weirdos are the ones that are like, mm-hmm. oh, how come you're saying that? It's like, no, it's just because I'm trying to be real right now. Like I don't want to waste my time. Yeah. Like I know I have a very short amount of time on Earth. Right. So I'm going to waste it appeasing to your reality uh-huh. why don't I just find people that think the same as me and then mm. have these collectives okay you know yeah, yeah 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 but I guess like then they're like oh what about the KKK and like all that like you know it's like like all those negative groups right yeah but it's like let them be what they want to be man in the end of the day it's going to work itself out it's just struggle powers the KKK believes that they are correct the liberal party believes they're correct whoever's the big party is going to win and beat out the smaller party yeah, I mean, it's if, already happened. I mean, they have had, no power. Really. If Hitler had won World War II, we'd all be like, oh, anti-Semitism's normal. But because they lost, Liberal Party wins. Oh, everyone's accepted. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm just saying this is how it works. It's like whoever's got the biggest gun is going to win. Yeah. I read it in a marketing, in the, the uh, Crossing the Chasm book. Freedom, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I posted it. Uh, let, let me pull it up. It's, it's my favorite line uh, from that book. Hold on. Just put it on Instagram if you want to see if it's on Instagram because I put that up on Instagram. What is your Instagram? Uh, at Herbal James. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So here's the quote. Um, I have always found you get – oh, sorry. I've always found you get a lot more in this world with a kind word and a gun than you do with just a kind word. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah. it's like, hey, man, you want to join me? And you're like, I believe the world works this way. It's like, no, I don't agree with you. Well, I was polite, but here, now I'm going to just take it from you. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, that's literally how the world works. If you look at, like, Western society, supremacy and stuff, the one with the biggest gun is going to get their way. Yes. Why did, why did, why did Hitler lose World War II and now we're not under his regime? Because the, what do you call the Allies? Yes. The Allies worked together and they ended up having a bigger gun than... The what do you call this? Al Axis. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like yeah, just the other side. Yeah. Yeah, but if the other side had bigger power, we would all be like Mm -hmm. Hitler right now. They did for they did in the beginning. They did in the beginning, but then people like that's why like you can't really get caught up in the illusion of like what's going on. Yeah. Because it's like it's just gonna work itself out. I think we talked about that, right? It was because of Russia. Russia got the bigger. Russia got. Russia was able to make more tanks than Germany could. Sure, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Facts. It was Russia. Hashtag facts. Uh, USSR. But that, but so. The communist government. Hashtag facts. So (laughs) circling back, what what I'm trying to say is that's the superficial illusion of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just need to accept the play. It's like, no, 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 do your part though. Like, oh, I want to fight for this. And like, I want to get my freedom of speech out there. And then this other guy's like, I don't want freedom of speech. Like Jordan Peterson. I agree with Jordan Peterson. He's not against freedom of speech. He's just like, who's going to regulate it? Yeah. That's all. And I'm like, that's true. Because who's to say what is freedom of speech and what is hate speech? Yeah. You can't define it. Exactly. So don't put a law against it. That's that's, that's all a he logical. Was, that's argument. all he was fighting for. And then people are like, oh, and for that he became huge. Yeah. Jordan Peterson doesn't believe in freedom of speech. It's like, no, he doesn't. He doesn't not believe in it. He believes if it could work, but he says it can't work. No, no I don't think that's what the fight was. About. He believes in freedom of speech. But he said he can't regulate it. Yes. So he, there shouldn't be a law. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. But, like, what happens is in the natural course of things, language it'll just work itself out. changes. That, yeah. that, no, no, but that's what like, he's saying. Like, we don't say the stuff we did 
Yeah, <laughs> of, of course, of course. Because yeah, it changes. Cause you, yeah, yeah. But, but, but what he said is yeah, like, so you, you shouldn't suppress their speech. You no. should let them speak because when people hear it, they're like, oh, that's wrong. Exactly. So it's like, exactly. yeah, just, people will inherently that, figure it out. Exactly. And if they don't, that's what I mean. well, that's then what you're I mean. in a system. If, 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 the, if the majority doesn't figure it out, then you're just in a system that you don't belong in. That's fine. Mm. That's just how it is. Mm. Don't let the vocal minority change the majority's mindset. People are gener- generally nice, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just a very select few that aren't nice. That's right. You know? And then even... Uh, okay, so even though you and I see the world differently, mm-hmm. right? No, no, I mean, like, as as contrast to the majority of the world. Yeah. Because not many people would say the things we're saying right now. Right, right, right. right. But so when I say, like, people are generally nice, w- even you and I, even though we disagree with the majority uh-huh. we don't give them a hard time if you're telling me something yeah, I'm like yeah, oh yeah. cool like if you ask anyone i'm 100 percent sure the biggest response like 99 percent people say oh you guys are very kind polite people right of course because it's like i just understand that we just don't see the world the same way yeah, yeah. you know right. so it's like right. people who have dissenting opinions will not be negative towards you no. if they're knowledgeable enough to understand that people don't see the world the same way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Superficial illusions, man. That's what I, that's that's what I realized. Having that one conversation. It's funny how like inspiration can hit you in one instant. Like that one conversation exploded me and I was like, oh, that was fake. <laughs> right. I was I was being super fake to that guy. Yeah. But he was like, oh you're so polite, like blah blah blah, blah right? But like in that fake interaction I realized uh-huh. oh we're all under fake interactions. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you just need one impetus. Mm. And you know, but yeah. So anyways, hopefully yeah. we were the impetus for you this week in enlightening you to a new way of looking because we are gods among men. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you but do you see how that could easily have switched? Yeah. Like if so like if so, all right, is is what all right, so I don't like it when you use knowledge. There, all right, so in business yeah. There's a thing called knowledge power. Mm-hmm. You, you, uh, you use like knowledge gatekeeper. If I have a piece of information that could help you out, I'm going to hold on to that because it gives me power over you. Yeah. Because then I have something that you don't have and uh-huh. I'm like limiting your growth. Yeah. So I don't like it when just because you have like a very revolutionary or like welcoming idea, if you jive with what we're saying, realize that we just like looked into it. Yeah. It's just look into it. Yeah, we're not special. No, and I think that's that's where you get into these weird like culty things, like yeah. like what Osho, like Osho had a lot of good things to say. Yeah, but that's what made him a false idol because people are like, oh, he's a guru, mm. you know. And I'm sure there are other people that listen to us who are like, wow, you guys sound like really enlightened. Blah blah. You're like learning all this stuff that I have no idea about, and you're like exploding my mind right now. But it's like, yeah, just look into it, bro. Yeah, that's it. Like that's there's. It. I, I will not tell you that I'm any more special than you. And everyone always says that, right? Like, oh, I'm just a normal person. Yeah. But like, I like we really mean that. Like, if you just read as many books as like I had, or you'd watch as many docs as Vish had, you'd be like, oh, this is how the world works. It's like, yeah, just educate yourself. That's it. And then you'll realize, oh, I educate myself. And then you could start to see like people who haven't continued the path after school. Yep. People like, oh, school done. All right, that's all I learned. I'm mm-hmm. done. Right. But like, if you just take him the time to find out more, then it it would put the world in a better place. Yeah, it'll we'll make more better educated. Yeah, choices. And we know that polls are like silly, so. you know, because people some people are gonna read that poll and be like, oh, that must be where the way the majority thinks. The majority thinks correct. I'm gonna believe that. Right. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's yeah. like what? So even the things that we're saying, it's like if you think that is wrong argue against it yeah but but understand we have very sharp swords <laughs> and if you draw your sword you may get cut <laughs> i like that and now like i yeah, yeah, I've, yeah, I've been yeah, told yeah. that before like somebody once told me they're like um like you're you're like a samurai and i'm like what do you mean and he's like when you cut you cut very deep mm. like you like one hit kill you know in your in your work, like you're very, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like straight to the point. So it's like, just come correct. Yeah. But but if you if you win the battle, 
Like if you if you say something, but see that's being an open mind. If you honestly say something where I'm like, oh, I had never, but I say that all the time. Like when somebody says something, I'm like, oh, I've never thought of it like that. You're correct. And like, wait, you're not angry? It's like, no, I'm not angry. You're like you've educated me on something I had no idea about. Right. I yeah. prefer to be educated than, but the majority who run under the superficial reality, they prefer to believe that their ways of thinking are correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I'm watching Vish heat up some coffee right now. Yeah. You know what I realized? All right, this is going way longer. You got to go laundry. Yes. But all right, final, final thing. Uh, what we're doing right now is exactly what we did as kids, right? Yeah, think, think about this one. Very true. So Socratic Gamers. We were just Socratic basketball players. Yeah. So we would talk about life, and then whenever we get into heated arguments, we'd be like, yo, let's play some, play some ball. And then you'd stop thinking about it. Mm. So that's why you almost have to balance like the heavy with the light. So the reason why we're playing the video game right now is because like we're going to go off on some craziness that we're like, you know, we're going to debate stuff, we're going to talk about things. But then at the end of the day, we're like, oh, look, he's, he's heating a hot dog with his knife. Yes. We we jump back into the superficial. That's why I like <laughs> the video games are very helpful. Yeah. Because if it was just if it was just being fully Socratic, then like we just be like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> we like Oh yeah. Yeah, it's be a, Yeah. But yeah. So find things that you like to do and uh, go do them. Exactly. Uh our final final thing. Zen oh. and the art of archery. I read this book called Zen and the Art of Archery, and that's bi- oh, you're about to get killed. Uh, and that no, it's a white flag in my camp. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So, so th- that's that's what Zen and the Art Art of Archery is. It says your mind can get very worked up, mm-hmm. which is the Socratic, and then you need a way to unwind the mind. Yeah. So that's why they use archery, but they said martial arts works, dance works, music works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But this is why the video game works because it's a way to unwind the mind. Yes. So it's like you got to wind the mind up. And wind it back down. Yeah. And back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so until next week, as we wind up our own minds, take it easy. Have a lovely day. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, take it easy. See you. Bye.